Welcome back to First News at 10. This past weekend, a hoopster from our Redeemers in Minot hit a shot at the boys B that became the talk of the tournament and it took social media by storm. John Jacklin, our new sports anchor at KMOT, headed to the gym to talk with Gus Engelhard about the shot heard around the state. This past weekend at the boys B, Gus Engelhard from our Redeemers hit the shot of a lifetime against EKM to send the game into overtime, which they eventually won. I'm here at the ORCS gym speaking with the man himself, Gus Engelhard. Did you know they were going to throw the ball down court? I just had a feeling, and I think our coach said that or they were going to throw it deep, so be prepared. So then, I, yeah, I just ran back with the guy, and it came to me. Just communicating with the kids on the court. We got to go full denial. We got to get a quick steal, and we got to get a shot up, you know, as quick as possible. 2.8 seconds left. Basically, we need a miracle. Had you ever hit a shot like that before? No, never. Even in practice, do you practice any three-quarter no, shots? Never. Nothing? Not really. Half-court shots at all? Sometimes, but okay. not usually. In all my years of basketball, I've never seen anything like that, playing, coaching, um, watching. Um, that was the most amazing shot I've ever seen. This is the clip. Here's the inbounds. Yeah, I saw Nolan Schmidt uh, like tip it out, and then I grabbed it, and I knew there wasn't a lot of time, so then I just threw it up there and hoped that there was enough time left, and yeah, it was crazy that went in. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever seen a shot from that far out hit the rim and then go straight up into the air, and then it fell. And barely touches any nylon as it went in. Yeah, it was crazy. I don't know how to explain it. We're going to have you try to recreate the shot, and then afterwards, I'm going to see if I can give it a go also. Okay. <sighs> <laughs> and he hits the shot clock. Like a left-handed dribble, pivot, and then shoot. Okay. Oh, that's kind of good. Oh. As you can imagine, that shot is really hard to recreate. At ORCS, I'm John Jacklin, reporting for your news leader. Quite a moment. I've even seen some uh, news outlets overseas running articles on that shot already. All right. Well, speaking of standout nights, our Redeemer's Maya Vibeto is already a finalist for Miss Basketball. While she awaits her fate for that award, she added another accolade to her collection in the meantime. Maya was one of two unanimous first team selections. The senior guard averaged more than 20 points per game on 40% shooting and also contributed nearly four steals per game on defense. Maya is also, as we said, a nominee for Miss Basketball. We'll find out if she wins that on Friday. Vibeto is joined on the first team by Mayport CG's Riley Satrum, who was the only other unanimous selection, EKM's Matea Mathern, Hedinger Scranton's Layla Jensen, and Reagan Honeyman from Bowman County. Now, Vibeto wasn't the only Minot area player to receive first team All-State honors. West Hope Newburgh Jr. Walker Broughton earned Division B All-State honors course to go alongside his state trophy. Walker led the Sioux in scoring with more than 26 points per game and nearly averaged a double-double, registering more than nine rebounds per game. He was also named to the All-Region Team and Region All-Tournament Team earlier this postseason. Here's a look at the rest of the first team boys. Walker is joined by North Stars Dane Hagler, Bowman County's Bowden Duffield, Lamore LM's Max Musland, and Javin Fries from Flasher. Now that's all we have in sports. Don't go anywhere.